guys, welcome back to another review from Bino Sester Malka. If you're new to this channel, every week we try to post a game to make learning fun, whether you're a tutor, a teacher, a game schooler, a traditional teacher. When your students get their hands on the right games, that's when learning becomes fun. So if you agree, like, and let's check out today's game. Today's game is more educational, less gamey. I apologize. And it is called Inference School Days. So I'm going to start out by um, opening up the game, sharing with you like the content so you get to see what's inside. Then we'll do a game review of how to play and then I'll share with you my opinion. So you could choose if this is right for your classroom or not. So first thing you can see, it's a big box. It's one of those squares. It does sit nicely on the shelf with the um, words out so you know exactly what you're getting. But like I said, it is a huge box. Something to keep in mind if you are a tutor or travel from home to home. If you have a small classroom or a small home, that's also something to keep in mind. But in terms of the actual box, you get a die. It comes with the instructions. They're, they are big, but it's just one page, and they're not, it's not too wordy, so you'll see. The instructions are super simple, and that's another plus. Next, you have the game board. And the game board is a traditional 4 by 4 square, so if you're used to playing games like that, it's not going to take up too much space. And as you can see, it has four different levels of play, which we'll get into later. And of course, it has the little playing characters. So you have, they're simple. They're actually, there's nothing special about them. I mean, they come in fun colors. They're not your traditional whatever. They come purple. <coughs> um, this orange was nice, the red one. But they're simple you know, movers, and then of course you have the cards. Now something, a mistake that I made the first time I played this, so I'm gonna teach it to you. Um, I shuffled them all together, and that was a huge no-no because there are four separate decks. So you have your high school questions over here, then there's middle school questions, there is elementary school questions, and college school questions. So separate the four piles and then play the game and i just my mistake before i showed you the game contents a little bit about it here are the instructions and something that i love and it means a lot when games have it here is an answer key because i'm a teacher and i may have two three sometimes four groups playing of course i know the answer if i sat and read it and gone over it but guess what not to be rude i don't always have the time so having an answer key, I just, oh, you're right. Oh, you know what? If you're wrong, how can I help you figure it out? So this answer key is whoo, a gift. So follow me. We're going to actually do a gameplay so you could see how um, Inference School Days is played. As you could see here, setting up Inference does require a lot of space. And then you have your four different decks of cards in the four corners. Now the gameplay is really simple. You start off in elementary school, you make your way through middle school, you go across to high school and down to college, and each quadrant is a new level separated by these lines. So you start at start, and the goal is whoever can stop at finish first wins. So the rules are really simple. You really don't need much ex you know, explanation. So I rolled a one, I move one, nothing. So roll again, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, now because I landed on test, that's when I lift up the card and I read it. Now, as you can see here, I'm not going to go through it. There are different types of cards. Each one is a different theme. I didn't particularly find them easier or harder based on level, which that was really nice so the kids didn't get intimidated. And like I said, it's a simple game. You roll, you go around the, um, the board, and you pick up cards and you read them. Now, here's a few tips. Number one if you land on test and you get it wrong well then you're stuck there for the next it's kind of like lose a turn and then you have to repeat now i'm into learning and i draw my students nuts let's say i rolled i'll tell you what i do i roll six let's say one three four five let's just say i roll five and i landed here right if i roll five here i would have my students take their vocabulary cards out and then read <coughs> five different cards and translate and the reason i do this is because every student has their own vocabulary cards no two students have the same package and when they read from with each other and they listen oh my goodness the learning 
they start picking up each other's vocabulary they start using sentences and oh my goodness you just can't stop it so let's go see what i think of the overall game review and whether it's right for your library and if you agree thumbs up and follow me to the next phase if you've made it this far in this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for next week's um so you don't miss next week's game so what is my opinion of inference school days? One being I love it, two being you decide, and three being stay away. I'm gonna to be totally honest, it's not a one, and it's not a two, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. This game, for a one, is fantastic. I highly enjoyed this game. There are four levels of play, the kids totally enjoyed it, and you know what? If I'm gonna to have to do reading comprehension with them and just like read text and answer questions, this is definitely better than pulling out, hey, your old textbook and say, well, let's go read from a textbook. On the flip side, as you could see here, it's reading levels second grade through 3.5. Now, to be totally honest, when you bring out a box set like this, from my experience, the students want to learn. They can actually, this one and a half year span can go through it in one year. And some students even faster because they're picking up the skill by learning from each other. So that brings it to a two. This is an expense, games are expensive. Even if it wasn't, building a game library is expensive. That's just the truth, like if you agree. And this is not a game that's gonna last long. So I'm gonna say it as honestly as possible. If you have the budget and you have the money, or you're like me, a teacher, and you teach over and over and over again, okay, I could see this being a one and it's worth adding. But if you have students or it's kids and you're traveling from home to home, and you need something that'll last for multiple generations or multiple levels, keep in mind this is an expensive game. So I do recommend it, but it comes with a caution note. If you like inference school days and want to see any other game, whether it's educational or fun, and all fun games are educational, feel free to let me know. Check out the link below. Um, I'm going to leave a link to, if I can find the game, this is an older game. So I'm going to try to leave a link below. And I'm gonna leave a link to my Instagram account where I post more game reviews. Yay! And I wanna hear from you if you like inference, if you didn't, just like I said, head over below, let me know, and I'd love to chat. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week for next week's game.